Okay, Aquarius, we're going to do a Celtic cross. We haven't done one of these in a really long time. I think it's a good idea because we get a nice um, sort of uniform story with a beginning and an end, hopefully. <laughs> so I'm thinking uh, three more shuffles. One. And two. Fixed air. Fixed air, please. I'm going to use this as the top. Here we go. But the issue, I'm going to turn that one over. <laughs> oh, wow. Communication and challenge. Crowning energy. Interesting. Fascinating. I'm going to flash the card <laughs> and then turn it over again. <laughs> um, it's looking pretty amazing. What do we have at the bottom of the deck? Wow. We've got the Ace of Pentacles. Um, okay. Give me one moment just to think about this. This is really quite the spread, Aquarius. Um, I think what we're going to do is use a second deck uh, to clarify the cards. Um, at the core of the reading is communication I'm seeing, um, and it's good communication. It is the Eight of Wands. Um, you know, usually this card means, uh, you know, incoming information. It's swift. Um, you know, we know that all of the eights... Um, you know, it, it, the eights are sort of a mental suit, okay? Um, they all relate to, uh, to hood uh, on the tree of life. Um, this is swift. It's fast moving. Um, this is called Mercury and Sagittarius, this card. Um, so there could have been some fast moving <laughs> communication that came into you. Um, uh, the challenge... I think before we clarify the issue, we're going to look at the challenge. It, you know, on a very mundane level, it could be that communication come in, came in about your person, and your person may be an earth sign, or communication may have come in from the earth sign. But the challenge, of course, is this person. Um, so uh, the communication may have been about this person. Um, let's just see if we can clarify um, the communication itself. Um, so we're looking, we're trying to clarify the Eight of Wands as the issue. Um, can we clarify the Eight of Wands as the issue for Aquarius? Can we clarify the Eight of Wands as the issue for Aquarius? Yeah, this is definitely communication. Just look at that. And it's about love. Wow. So, uh, I mean, this, uh, the magician is ruled by Mercury, by the prince. So, I think it was communication that related to your person. And I think probably your person is there. So, your person, uh, uh, that is the four of pentacles. It's sun in Capricorn. Your person could be a Capricorn. Or they just could be anybody um, who is trying to, um, to control things. Notice how um, the way that he is holding that pentacle um, around his, his chest, it's almost like he's holding a ship's wheel. Um, I think this is Lord of Material Gain. I think that's what, what they call it. Um, you know, the idea is that this person, uh, they're sitting alone. Um, it could be a wealthy person. They, you know, this person has built um, the city that he's, uh, you know, that he's in front of the city that's behind him, but he is sitting on a cold, hard, concrete bench. So you may have had some, uh, you know, you may have had some trouble with this person because of their closed heart and because of the way they're trying to control things. Um, I mean, the subconscious energy is also, you know, a, an earth king. So it's a, 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 most likely this is, you know, this is your person... 
but the subconscious energy is all about stability. This king is a little more uh, um, uh, evolved than that a person in that card. Um, so, uh, yeah, this king is married, you know, uh, with, with a family. Um, this, this person is probably a bachelor um, who is, uh, you know, who, is, who has a bit of a closed heart, okay? Now, um, I'm going to clarify the challenge because I find that very interesting. Let's clarify the Four of Pentacles as the challenge. Why is that person presenting Aqua a challenge? What is, I mean, it may go without saying, but um, what do we have to clarify the Four of Pentacles, please? For Aquarius, what do we have to clarify the Four, four of Pentacles? Uh, wow. <laughs> Definitely all related. So I think the communication did. It was communication that came in from your person. Now, I'm noticing that we had the magician in both of those clarifications. It could, it could be that um, the communication was crafty. It, was, it may have been tricky. Um, you know, you may not have liked it. Uh, I'm going to see if I can clarify the communication that came in. Can we clarify the communication that came in to Aquarius? Can we clarify the communication that came in, please? Show us. Yeah. So very likely, here is a stage card. It was about somebody giving to two. And this is another, this is an earth sign uh, giving to two. Uh, this is a stage card. It's moon in Taurus. Um, it is a gray flat service. This person, those scales are not balanced, um, and uh, this person, the pentacle over their head, shows that the, the giving um, right there, they have invested, uh, their money is somehow invested in the giving, and they have, you know, made it a mental decision that this person is a better bet to invest in than this person, even though this person is needier, look at the hole in their jacket, they don't have a hat, um, this person has a hat, no holes in the jacket. Um, the reason why he's picked this person is because he's concerned about his money. It's not, you know, true giving, okay? It's not altruistic because of that. So it's possible that you have just realized, okay, that your person <clears throat> is giving to two. Maybe that was the uh, information that came in. Um, and maybe they, had, they, maybe they are giving to somebody else, to someone that they think is, uh, and it's quite possible that the reason that they decided to give to somebody else was not, <clears throat> excuse me, a good reason at all. All right. Um, now, but, but the underlying energy, I believe this is your security, you know, this is your stability. Um, this is the, per this is what you want, this is what you got, you know. Well, um, let's look at this. The, um, the crowning energy is transformation, which is fantastic. Um, you know, I can't help but notice there's, a, you know, there's a lot of history behind this card, but let's have a look at what's on that. Sorry that this is not focusing. There we go. So that is called the Tudor Rose that's on the banner here of the, um, <laughs> of the uh, Messenger of Death. Um, you know, so this could very well have to do with, um, with you know, I really think it has to do with, with uh, you and your person. I'm seeing a king and a queen. I'm thinking about the Tudor Rose, you know, that uh, the story behind that. Um, is all about the War of the Roses in the uh, 15th century. Um, uh, there were two families, you know, that were fighting over the monarch. I think it was the York family, and the other family was the Lancaster family. Anyway, um, uh, the man, uh, I think it was Henry Tudor, he ended up marrying one of the York uh, ladies, and that is what brought the whole thing to an end, and then there was peace, you know. Um, so the Tudor Rose, um, usually it's red and white, but, um, that, but this is the Tudor Rose there on the banner. So perhaps there will be peace um, by, by a choice being made, you know. But hopefully someone will make the, the right choice. 
I do believe that in the recent past, I think this is you. I think you did a walk away. This is the Eight of Cups. I believe that you walked away. Not because, you know, because something had been destroyed, but because maybe perhaps, you know, you realized that uh, perhaps it was because your person was getting to do, and that is just not good enough, you know. There was a need uh, for you to walk away at that time. But, you know, um, as we know, the whole idea of this card, you know, look at the moon. There's the idea of, uh, it's cyclical. So there is an idea that there could be a return, you know. Um, that is, you know, that's why the, the eight cups, they're, they're still standing. It's not a permanent walk away, and very often it is a return. And in the very near future, we do have the four of wands. I think we should clarify this. Um, so this is... Um, Venus in Aries, it's the fourth deacon of Aries, so that's Aries born in late April. Um, let's just clarify this before we, before we jump to any conclusions. Why is the four of wands in the, um, in the very near future position? I mean, that's a wonderful card to have. Oh my goodness, am I losing the screen? I'm seeing my screen. Oh, no, we're still rolling. Why is the four of wands in the very near future, please? Why is it there? Wow. So I do believe there will be a War of the Roses. I think this is probably before the Four of Wands. Uh, you know, there's. it looks like there's, there's quite a bit of competition. You and your person, uh, you know, may have, there may be competition over you and your person. Um, and, you know, you've got everybody watching. Everybody wants to know what's going on. I'm seeing a lot of gossip here, um, but I do believe <clears throat> that that Four of Wands is a very good card for you. Your tools, Aquarius. I know that some of you may find it difficult to do this because you're very analytical and you can be very intellectual but very open-minded, but the tools are to make a decision with your heart. <clears throat> this queen makes almost, well, all her decisions, believe it or not, she makes with her heart none with her head. So um, uh, that 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 sitting in the position of your tools. Now this is interesting. This is these are the outside influences. You know, there's a Leo there. Now I you know this card has been coming up in a lot of people's readings. I feel like it, this could be, you know, this is on and off again. This this. You know, this the person, the Knight of Wands, is not considered to be the most stable person. This could be the same energy that you were getting from your person, but let's clarify it, uh, because it could be another person. Why is the Knight of Wands sitting in the, out, in the position of the outside influences for Aquarius? How is this affecting this reading? What is the Knight of Wands as an outside influence? Show me. I do believe it's another person. I believe this is a person that you've heard about. I believe that might be either the competition or the karmic or, you know, whatever. It could also be a person that brought you the news because there's Mercury, the communicator, and, and the Queen of Wands does tend to be very, uh, she's very bold, you know, and independent. She may be a friend of yours. She may have given you the news. I don't know. Um, or this could simply, if you're, you know, it, no matter what, you know, gender or sex you are, you, there could be a fire sign that has been in and out of your life. Um, this could be someone in and out of your person's life. This could be the person, you know, that was uh, when we saw that your person had been giving you two. Maybe it was that person, okay? Um, now, isn't it funny that the same card that clarified um, the issue... And the reason why you walked away is in your fear position. The, this is both your hope and your fear, you know, in the higher polarity. I guess if, if, if we did reversals, you'd be hoping this wasn't. I think this is more of a fear that your person is giving to two, you know. Um, but I have a feeling that um, because of this, I 
because of, of three things that I'm seeing on the board. A, you, you made the decision to walk away. Uh, B, the subconscious energy of stability is a stable king. So it looks as if somebody <clears throat> has probably um, grown a little bit yeah, um, from a spiritual point of view. The crowning energy is transformation, and this is transformation for the good. It's dawn in this card. The sun is rising in the east. Does my camera reverse this image? No, it doesn't. And as you know, the sun always rises in the east. If this were um, the evening, you'd see it on the left side of the card. Okay? Um, so it's dawn. It's, things are, the, this is death of ego, death, death of the lower polarity of that card. Um, the other thing is the bottom of the deck was the Ace of Pentacles, which is a brand new start, and it's a clean start, you know, and uh, that is a fairly giant pentacle. And this is someone who's happy just to have you in their hand. They don't have to, you know, go down to this fancy garden and walk through there. They're happy just to have you right there. Are you ready to see the outcome? You probably saw it during the shuffle. We have the Ace of Cups. Now, I do believe um, that this is an incredibly good um, outcome. I don't believe your person is going to be giving to two. I do believe um, that they have transformed because we've got the card of transformation there. But when I saw it come out, I usually talk about um, different things uh, when I see this card, but tonight I'm thinking about uh, in, the, uh, in the New Testament, <clears throat> the baptism of Jesus. You know, when, when you baptize, the, the whole idea of baptism, it's the same sort of thing as meditation when you meditate. Um, you know, well, Deepak Chopra once said that when you meditate, it's like dipping yourself into source, dipping yourself into source. Um, and purifying your thought, not not purifying in the sense that you would think of uh, bad things, but making it clear and less staticky, you know. Um, and the uh, you know the 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 account, um, uh, you know, according to the apostles, uh, when Jesus was baptized, I believe it was John, um, it wrote about um, Jesus having seen a dove when he came up out of the water. He said that he looked up, the skies open, and a dove swooped down. Um, and I think, and of course, this represents the, um, the Holy Communion, where they, you know that little piece of bread there that uh, that uh, people eat when they, if they subscribe to that particular religion. But um, I do believe that the whole idea of um, you know the baptism and the purifying and the meditation, I I truly believe that not only has your person transformed through this death card. Um, but, you know, they have gone through some kind of a spiritual transformation as well. And, of course, remember that there are 26 letters in the English alphabet. There are 26 droplets of water here. There are five streams, not four, five. We have five senses. The idea of this card um, is, that, is that emotion or love, true spiritual love, will be put into words exactly what your person was not doing right there so um, Aquarius um, especially for those of dealing uh, those of you dealing with uh, any kind of an earth sign Sagittarius Aries Scorpio Pisces Leo um, and and uh, and cancer for sure um, this looks like a phenomenally good outcome for you and your person what a beautiful reading. Thanks for listening, Aqua.